And just coming into view, some of the uh, plumes occurring throughout the state. And Houston Station, Mike on two. Uh, yeah, we're coming on uh, just across the coast. See Houston quite clearly, and uh, it is a sad sight with all the fires burning in Texas right now. See uh, one uh, very major one and uh, three smaller ones. Copy that, Mike, and it is going out to the world. Good view. Thanks. Appreciate it. Station Houston on two for Ron. Need you to hit pause again. We appear to have some issues with our IAPS setup. As you can see, just passing into the left of the view, uh, one of the uh, larger plumes, presumably from the wildfires occurring within the state. Also in view is the Colorado River. As you heard, uh, NASA astronaut Mike Fossum also on board and monitoring the views and uh, likely gathering some images uh, using the still photos, still cameras on board as well. The space station itself continuing on a northeasterly track now uh, over the coast of Louisiana. This view uh, looking back, looking back towards the state of Texas, this view from a handheld camera uh, by Mike Fossum in the cupola. Switching now to a view from the camera mounted on the exterior of the spacecraft, the communications and tracking officer reporting. Uh, best views from the port or left side of the vehicle. Looking back towards the state of Texas as the vehicle continues uh, to travel 17,500 miles per hour on a northeasterly track across the United States. We're switching back to views from the handheld camera by NASA astronaut Mike Fossum, who's positioned in the cupola. It's a small module, but uh, outfitted with large viewing windows uh, where you can capture this view. The International Space Station now just approaching West Virginia, but still looking back towards the state of Texas, where plumes from the numerous wildfires are still viewable.